hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Let's see if we can get see what we can get shaking today. Hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, what's going on? Let's see what we can get uh, today. We got uh, uh, what we got going on today. We're going to talk about Mr. Robert Eckert. You don't know who he is. He's a he's a board of director uh, director uh, at uh, McDonald's. Robert Eckert. That's what that's the topic today. Oh, he's not uh, getting this through. But uh, for now, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Bring a friend or two. Please follow us on Instagram uh, on all the social media things. This Instagram is at Black Diamonds 412. Diamonds is plural. For those of you who went to public school, plurals means as an S after the word diamond. So yeah, uh, so it's Black Diamonds 412. You can follow us on uh, Facebook as That's Him and AJ. That's Him AJ. Uh, again, for those of you who went to public school, uh, plural means there's an S after that's, so it's a T-H-A-T-S. That's Him AJ. Antonio Johnson, yeah. And then uh, you can find us on the YouTube thing. I'm still having trouble finding my YouTube channel name, so <laughs> uh, we'll figure that out later. Uh, but if you need coaching for the real estate, uh, we do. We have a, a, a phone option for you. You can do it over the phone, via phone. Thirty minutes, seventy-five dollars to help you out. We have a monthly plan for forty for four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, unlimited access. Slots are definitely limited. Uh, you can book those. Uh, you can book your spot with us anytime. Uh, dial eight five nine four two eight eight one nine three, or you can send us a text. Um, anyway. If you know anybody that's selling a house or buying a house or want, needs to buy a house, any fixer uppers, things like that, I have a two hundred fifty dollar referral fee for you, uh, cash. If, uh, and if you continue to be a continue uh, partner, referring fees to uh, referring uh, deals to us and things like that, uh, you'll receive. Uh, we have an incentive program uh, for that. Uh, again, the number uh, text or call eight five nine four two eight eight one nine three. We'll go ahead and get that done for you. You can purchase our company contracts for real estate wholesaling. Uh, our, it includes the purchase and sale agreement, the assignment contract, and the worksheet, $75. Again, 859 And if you're looking for a motivational speaker for any event that you may have, uh, please give us a call or text 859-428-8193. We can go ahead and get that booked up for you right there. All right, so today we're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to talk about Mr. Robert Eckert. For those of you who do not know who Mr. Robert Eckert is, Robert Eckert, he is a man with a big ego and does not mind putting other people's money at the expense of his ego, knowing that he will not have any positive outcome out of the situation. Basically saying, you know, yeah. He's the board of he's one of the board of directors at uh, McDonald's, and uh, let's see if we can pull up here. Yeah, it was just so much. I had a, I actually got a, uh, I got an uh, option to vote uh, because I'm part owner with McDonald's, and uh, I got an option to vote to, uh, you know, keep or to to vote for or against or abstain uh, for the board of rec for the board of directors, their compensation, the reports that they disclose to the public. And uh, things like that. And when you uh, get into that industry in that field, uh, you, your say so matters. Uh, maybe not as much as others in that field until you, you know, own more of that company. But yeah, you do have a say so. So let's just uh, let's just do this. Uh, so Robert Ecker, he's uh, he's born 1954. He's an American businessman, chairman, and CEO of Mattel. Matt tells the Barbie dolls, the little Barbie doll, the Kenan, the Kenan Barbie thing, little plastic dolls y'all seen growing up. He's the uh, chairman and CEO of Matt Tell from 2000 to 2011. Uh, CEO of Kraft Foods. Kraft is the, you know, I'm sure you see it while you grocery shopping and things like that. Uh, from 1997 to 2000, three year run. And an operating partner with the private 
Equity Firm, Friedman, Fleischer, and Lowe. Uh, Mr. Robert, he's a, uh, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not discrediting his, I'm not discrediting his work. I'm not. I'm not discrediting, uh, you know, the uh, the accomplishments he's achieved in, in whatever careers he's had. However, when you ask for me to vote for someone, it's just my opinion, because my opinion matters, and, 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 I, and I get to express this, and I get to express this through my uh, decisions, uh, through my decisions that I make through, uh, through voting. And when you have a lot of negativity about your name, not even just negativity, because then, you know, anybody can make up anything, right? So you just look into it you investigate and when you investigate more and you see that it really has no positive inch he had no positive interest in his you know no yeah he had no uh no good intentions uh with a lot of his moves and he's very selfish very selfish that would make you consider reconsider is this person a great person for a board of director for a company that my money is invested in? Uh, you know, you got to look at the character of the person. You got to look at the things that they would do. You got to be able to, of course, you can't, uh, you can't predict what someone will do, but based off of their past, you know, experiences and their past behavior, you can judge what they're more likely, what they're, what they more likely will do. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Mr. Eckert, he, like I said, he, uh, in 2000, Eckert joined Mattel as a chairman and CEO and remained a CEO until December 2011. He retired at the end of 2011 and was succeeded by someone else. What happened was, this man, of course, like I said, Matt Tell is that Ken and Barbie doll thing. I believe he's got to be like something about 12 inches or 12 and a half inches or something like that, 12 inch doll, or whatever. Anytime anybody, any industry, any person, any company, whatever you want to call it, they come, they design another Barbie doll that has the same exact um, height or in the realms of the description of what he has already uh you know, created with the Ken and Barbie thing. Anytime anybody comes up with another concept, he is pushing for for them to get out of there because he wants to be the only person in the world that came up with an idea to make a Barbie doll. That's what he said. He makes the the Barbie doll run, brings in two billion dollars annually. Annually means per year. Basically, what he did was he noticed another company. They made another doll. This doll had like the say had like some puffier lips or something like that or whatever. And the doll had nothing identical with it had nothing to do with the Ken and Ken and thing. However, there was a partner or someone that was employed by them, and he had an idea before he was even working with the Matt Tail company. And uh, he paused his stuff and then we he, when he left the company, the Mattel company, whatever, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's the one that created the puffier lip dolls or something like that. Let me make sure I get the right name of it. Let me see. Uh, the Bratz doll. There you go. The Bratz doll. That's what it was. And what he did was he basically said, look here, I don't like the fact that your dolls are making making money. I don't like the fact that your dolls are on the shelves. I don't like the fact that you're in the same industry in the same realm as me. So what he did was a bunch of illegal and, uneth and unethical, unethical stuff. Uh, he even went so far as to uh, go to have, get fake business cards made, fake IDs made, fake credentials made in order to be able to access the events where the Bratz dolls were premiering and uh, you know, and showcasing and things like that, all in the purpose and all with the intentions of sabotaging that company. Okay, 
Those are the decisions he made, right? Not only that, he also went to court and tried to sue the people. Okay, you can do all that. But where's the where's the the kicker for me? The kicker for me is whose money did he use? He used four hundred million dollars of shareholders' money and lost it all. All because of his ego. And the beginning of the situation would have told you, look here, fam, you're not about to you're not about to win this battle. You can't just win this battle because you tell you basically saying your feelings are hurt because somebody else is in the same industry as you. It's like saying T-Mobile is mad at Verizon for existing, and you know, you no, know, it's competition. You just get better and better, but the Ken Barbie doll can't get better and better. I mean, I mean, it's just a, a doll, I guess. I don't, I'm not in that industry. I don't know. I'm gonna come up with my own doll, though. Trust me, It'll be a black diamond warehouse doll. Trust me, it's gonna come out in the next two, year, year or two. Watch me. But anyway, so, but yeah, so you, you can't do you. I mean, what he did it. He did it. He lost four hundred million dollars of the shareholders' money. Okay. Not only that, this man was married to a woman named Kathy. They have four children. Four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. How long does it take to have each kid? At least nine months. So almost a year. So it's four years. I mean, it takes a few seconds to make the baby, but it takes about almost a year, nine months to, make, to actually deliver the baby. So not only that, you got to think about the time invested before y'all even went that far so for however you know, however long y'all knew each other before y'all even decided to cross those lines and you know and can make that commitment and do do, do things you gotta invest that time as well i don't know about you but i don't know one woman in this world i know a lot of crazy women i know a lot of crazy women one thing i do not know is i don't know one woman who would take her own time her own money her own you know life and invest it into another man invest it into another person and I mean years years and years you 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 have four of this man's babies four of them and then all of a sudden you push him for a divorce why are you pushing for a divorce? I don't know, not one woman. It doesn't make sense. It don't make sense, does it? Why would a woman file for a divorce from him? Hey, man, we have our life together. We spent X amount of time together before, before we before we had the babies. Now we got now we got the baby. We got four babies. We invested in four babies. I didn't. Tr and a woman in that situation, uh, trust me, trust and believe me, she's gonna try to do everything and everything she can in order to keep that relationship happy, in order to keep it going, because that's what she, you know, it's just natural for a woman, especially with that much time invested in someone. Eckert and his wife sold their Park Tower condominium for a little over two point nine two million dollars. And it was in 2017. On June 1st, 2019, Robert Eckert married Lisa Mary Bong Giovanni. Who is she, I wonder? A former Mattel communications executive. I just told you he was the CEO of the Mattel company. Two years later, after he divorced his wife, he married Lisa Mary Bong Giovanni a former Mattel communications executive. Anybody from the streets or anybody with common sense can put this two, can put this thing together. Robert basically was having an affair on his wife at work when he became the CEO having an affair. Just strictly having an affair. His wife didn't know anything about it. But his actions and his behavior started changing at home. His wife already knew what was up. Maybe she probably couldn't identify who the person was, but she knew something's definitely changing. Every woman does, especially when these type of uh, situations occur. This man then threw away his whole entire family, his whole entire family, all over thinking with his private part at work. 
not to mention you're the CEO and chairman of the Mattel company. Okay, why would you sit here and marry a former Mattel communications executive? How did you marry her two years later? You was already involved with her. That's common sense. So, basically, here we go. You got a man who, who who's willing to steal people's money at, at his own ego and, and not do nothing to rectify the situation. Shouldn't have even jumped in the situation. Should have congratulated the brass dog company and said, hey, man, keep it up. You know, Ken and Dahl's been out there for years. You had your nice run, man. Come up with another business concept or sit back and shut up. You know, not only that, Two years later, after your divorce, you marry your ex coworker, pretty much. Or she may be even have she may even be a still be an owner. Uh, who knows? Uh, you know, you know they play funny. But you you did that cheating on your wife. You got four kids that you didn't even think about. Four kids you didn't even think about. Why you thinking about your private part at work? You know. Does this sound like the type of person that's going to be good to run to run a business? He seems a bit selfish to me. So that's the very reason why Mr. Robert, R-O-B-E-R-T, Eckert, is the dummy of the day, and he got voted out, at least by me and the people that I know. We'll see how far down the line that trickles. Uh, but yeah, so that's the, that's, the, he, that's the dummy of the day right there. Uh, I, mean, I mean, of course, these is, you know, past instances of his and things like that, but it's still him. It's still his character, it's still who he is. You know, and and honestly, I don't want nobody like that in charge of my money. I don't want nobody like that to even have be to be even having to, to have an influence on my money or how that company is ran or or you know anything like that. It's not a good look. Not only that, Robert Eckert just doesn't seem to be like doesn't seem to be a good name. I I looked it up I looked it up, I did my research, and it is it's it appears to be two different people. Let's just say that. I don't I don't know. It appears to be two different people. But if you can see this, when you look up Robert Eckert's name, the first thing come up, boom, the second thing come up, former Lutz or former Lutz Robert Eckert uh, freed on bond uh, during child porn case. But it's, it's not him, it's two different persons. That's, that's another Robert Eckert. But that's the first two results that pop up when you type in his name. Not good. So, if I was you and you uh, own anything with McDonald's, uh, you know, do what you need to do, whatever. But, you know, I just don't want to lay that on your head, man, because that's just, just not a good look, man. It's not a good look for the company uh, to have anyone like that with his. With, uh, with his characteristics on board as a board of director so uh, that's my uh, you know uh, yeah that, that that that's where I wanted to go over today uh, so uh, and you just got to be more careful about the, about the things you do and think and just always be aware that your actions back then can always definitely affect your future always be kind and nice to the next person be mindful of the next person think about the next person more than you think about yourself when you're uh, doing business with other people uh, because uh, you know it just everything has its consequences it can be good consequences bad consequences and you know whatever it's going to be so uh, that, that, that's my topic for the day man and you know do what you need to do uh, please let me know what you think about that. If you own any, uh, if you own anything with McDonald's, uh, please leave a comment or something. You know, let me know what you think about that. Am I, am I bugging? Am I thinking too deep? Am I thinking too hard about this situation or what? I'm just saying, somebody that has spent four hundred million dollars of shareholders' money you know, on a case that and and, and, and blow it a hundred percent with no legitimate basis, none. I can see if he said this person came in here and you know and. And messed up my place, and you know, stole stole some credentials, and you know, stole some information, valuable information, or something like. That. And you know, we had to do, we had to go sue him, something like that. This man simply didn't like the fact that his competition existed, and so he chose to spend four hundred million dollars out of his own ego that was not his money. Partly my money, uh, partly other people's money, things like that. He spent that money, 
and 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 lost it all because he wanted to say I don't like you here I don't want you making dolls in my industry I'm the only person in the world who can make a doll that's what he said so leave a comment let me know if I'm bugging if you uh, like the content or whatever like like and subscribe uh, we're gonna uh, we're going to get up off of this one, man, and everybody have a great day. Z-Wax, W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. Be nice and have a great day. Be kind to others.